artist soul from the planet. This one straight to a boy name. You better praise it, no can it. Left boy a shake and a fret. And you P45 if you can it. Fire red and dead, nigga. listen to those songs, you know what I mean? So, um, in my dad's collection, we had Dennis Brown album, yeah. Dora Lawson album, John Holt album, yeah. and these were the kind of influences that I had growing up. Some of the greats, yeah? Um, later on, um, whilst I was at school, uh, my brother was in a sound system, uh, a small house, and um, my brother got the privilege to take the records home. Okay. So that's where I come into it now. <laughs> I used to flip all the, the onto the B sides yeah. and I used to sing along with all these different instruments. Do you understand? Yeah. And to me, it was like, this is perfect. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So um, that's how I just got, I started singing to the versions, the versions. And then um, maybe around about the age of 15, we had to do a project at school. And um, I, I was interested in the bass, yeah. but there was a better bass player than me. Yeah. I was interested in drums, yeah. better drummer than me. I played the keyboard with one finger. <laughs> and someone could play with ten. Oh, you know yeah. So it kind of got kicked off, you know. Yeah. And the only thing left was the vocals. Yeah. And I haven't been kicked off yet <laughs> for <laughs> years. <laughs> But um, that was my first performance, I was about 15 years old. I yeah. went to a performance on stage at school. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've got some really good comments. You know, we just made up a song. Uh, my favourite artist was Dennis Brown. Yeah. So, you know, most of my influences came from that direction, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just done a performance at school. And from then, that's where I kind of really got interested in music, the buzz, the buzz for music. Uh, the school I went to was a school called Spencer Park. Now this school um, produced 
Jim's feet from that Dennis Carvel. Um, Matumbi. Um, Passive Venus. Um, McCoy family. <laughs> Do you know this? <laughs> Did it have a, a music department? They had a music department, um, which I didn't know how good it was until mm. I actually went from there to see it for myself. And um, a lot of people would come to the school and rehearse, like, you know, after school. Okay. And they were big artists, you know what I mean? I, I didn't realise at the time just how special that school was. Yeah. Um, I had a, a music teacher, his name is Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Now, um, when he heard me sing for the first time, he says, you know what, you've got something, keep it up. Yeah. Anyway. Um, when I was about 18, I met some of the guys from Private Collection. Yeah. Uh, we started talking and then we started jamming um, every week in a rehearsal studio together. Yeah. Uh, we were coming up with songs, we've done this for about three years. And uh, we would just come up with songs, songs, rehearsing every weekend. And then eventually, um, we decided to go approach Matthew and Fluxy. So we've done a demo, we approached Matthew and Fluxy and um, they listened to a couple of songs, they said yeah we like this song and we like that song. And uh, we went into a studio, uh, uh, the studio was a progressive sound studio with Patrick Donnelly. And we went there with Matthew and Fluxy and we played a couple of tracks. How old was you here? I was 18 at the time. No, sorry, I was about 21 at the time. So um, we laid a few, a couple of tracks down. One was called Dreamers, that was our first release, and the other one was called Only Can Be Friends, which was a beast. Yeah. Now um, we've done those tracks, and you know I started hearing my songs on the radio. I was like, wow, this is not bad. You know? yeah. um, after that deal with Matthew Cross, uh, we went back to progressive sounds. And we asked them if we could do uh, an album and a couple of, sing couple of tw um, singles. Mm. So we, we did an album, we did a couple of singles. Um, on our album, there was a guitarist that came in and done some licks that day, one, one day. Now, we, I didn't know the guitarist uh, who was coming in. So we laid a few tracks down. Um, knock on the door, the guitarist comes in, I look up, and it's my old school teacher, Mr. Johnson. Really? <laughs> Come to play on my album. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is wow. meant to be. You know? Definitely. And uh, yeah, we put out our first album. Oh. Uh, sorry, we put out our first singles. So we've done the uh, Dreamers, uh, Flipside, On oh, Can Be Friends. Then we've done a song called um, Slow Down. Now, Slow Down just went... Rookie. <laughs> it went to number one in the reggae charts. Yeah. You know? And that's when it all sort of went big for private collection. You know? I mean, yeah. Done a few more singles after that, done an album as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just been, you know, Exciting all the way. Okay, you know imagine. I mean? yeah. How did your family feel about your career choice? Yeah, they were excited. They're excited, you know, because I've been singing in the bedroom for years. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's nice, you know, for them to see that it wasn't just a waste of time. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You know, my family, they've come and supported me. You know, they've seen me on stage and they've given me enough encouragement as well, you know. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, it's just been a wonderful experience, you know, you know, just the early stages of getting that support from your family and your friends. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's been good. And I was about to ask you who or what inspired you to be where you, to be where you are, but I know Mr. Johnson. Yes. And I know Dennis Brown. Yes. And your parents were a huge part of that. But were there yes. any other people? Um, yeah, I would say even from school, you know, um, there was a friend of mine, there was a friend of mine, um, Tough Wise, uh, Paul Blake, okay. and uh, he he had been associated to music from day one. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Where some of us went to sports, he was always into music. Yeah. And um, I 
would say around about the age of 23, 24, uh, me Nick and Paul, tough wise, we went into the studio together, went into his studio, mm -hmm. and we started recording an album. And that really took me to another level, you know, as far as the kind of songs and you know how far I could stretch my vocals. So um, that was another influence on me. Um, I think um, more influences, just maybe people I've met along the way. Do you know what I mean? So starting my career, uh, going on stage, I'm seeing people like Sugar Miner, um, you know Janet Kay, and you know I've seen you know all these all these artists that are years to dance. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, no, it's just been it's been really nice meeting, seeing, and working alongside all my heroes. You know, I mean, growing up listening to their music, seeing along with their music, and um, yeah, these are the people. You know, just people that I I could see. You know, I mean, I could hear. You know, yeah, they've been my friends. What was your support like during your journey? Uh, support's been good. Yeah, um, I would say. I have never had any negative comments. I've never had any real bad advice. I've never had anybody tell me, you're rubbish. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? But even when I don't feel yeah. like I've done that, that good, you know, yeah. people are still supporting me and saying, well, you sound good. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm just being a bit tough on myself. It wasn't that bad after all. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's been... Where is music <laughs> taking you? What has been your most memorable thing? Hmm. Taken me. I think one of my most exciting adventures in music was working with Sanchez. Um, That's my next question. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, working with Sanchez, um, we, uh, we toured Birmingham, Manchester, and London. And it was working with the Philharmonic Orchestra, and it was the whole orchestra. Wow. Um, that was experience. Yeah. Actually, they had to mix the reggae with the orchestra. Yeah. And it was like, just fantastic. So, those are sort of, there's loads more. There's loads yeah. more, do you know what I mean? But some of the ones that really stick out, you know? Yeah. Well, I think one of, my, one of my earliest experiences that I really enjoyed um, when I, I was in a, a launch for. Um, Gina Lebambo with some Paradise, you know, she was relaunching her new album and I was privileged to be there at the time when she was, um, you know, going to go on stage and sing her song. Anyway, um, whilst they were waiting for it to go on stage, um, they asked me would I like to sing a song and I, I sung Slow Down and, you know, in the audience, Gina Lebanco, um, Victor Mary Evans, Janet Kay, Carol Thompson, and um, yeah, those are some of the good memories. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Just tell us if there are any other artists you've worked with. Um, yeah, I've worked with um, a lot of the UK artists, you know, um, investigators. Um, uh, Vivian Jones, Paul um, uh the list just goes on and on. Oh, no. <laughs> if I'm honest, I uh, worked alongside people like Omar, um, Ruth Turner, um, <laughs> there's a few friends of Greg Stiles and then there's George as well. <laughs> yeah, yes, I mean, you know, we're, we perform. You know, um, it hasn't always been reggae, do you yeah. know what I mean? I know I'm singing reggae, but sometimes I'm reggae, it's the soul, so you get to see certain artists. Would you mind sharing some of the struggles you, you may feel as recording artists may face? Yeah, let's see now. Um, I think the struggles we've had, maybe when we first started out, uh, we put our first single out. And I thought, I thought it was a great single. I thought this is the kind of song that could go to national charts. Uh, I went and knocked on Sony's door, um, Virgin, all, all these top red 
recording labels and they were interested. You know, it's like we've got Chakademus and Plants here. Do you know what I mean? We've already got like one set of people. We don't need these <laughs> anymore. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's when I became, that's when I realised <laughs> that, you know, they, it's not up to me. It's yeah. up to the people who want to pop you back. Do you know what I So the struggles, uh, I suppose, is um, trying to get somewhere. And you have no, not really any control over that. You know, you can go a certain place, but it's not up to you, it's up to the rest of them. Do you know what I mean? If they want to let you in. So, can I say then, if I went back to an earlier question that asked you if the, what support was like, the support, support is lovely on one side but can be easy on the other. Mm -hmm. Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. If you could give advice to an aspiring artist, what would it be? I think um, um, love what you do. You know, you really, really love what you do. Because there's times where, you know, you're, people may not believe in you, but you've got to believe in yourself. You know, like when you're doing performances and stuff, you know, you've got to convince yourself that I'm here to have a good time. Yeah. And then people are going to have a good time <laughs> following you. Do you understand? So, yeah, believe in yourself. Believe in, believe in what you do. Um, there's going to be obstacles along the way. Do you know what I mean? Um, another thing I'd suggest is protect your music. You know, because um, it's, there are a lot of sharks out there. You know, and you're, you're so, look, when I listen to a lot of the greats that have gone along, Nina Simone and all these big artists, they've been paid pennies for their songs. You know what I mean? And, you know, they've done classics, you know? Yeah. So, protect yourself as much as you can. Get to know as much about the industry and what goes on and what certain directions it's supposed to take. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just protect your music. Protect, protect your interest, you know what I mean? You know, so, um, yeah. You, see, you spoke about producers, yeah. like and Sunny. What other producers have you worked with? I would say we've worked with a lot of producers. Um, most of our work was put out in with Progressive okay. and Matthew Plutzi. Okay. Um, uh, producer wise, I suppose I've just worked with a lot of guys. No, we've done our own productions. Yeah, we started doing our own. We got to understand about the business. And, uh, our first album uh, was produced by Progressive Sound. We got into it and started doing our own what other artists do you listen to? Um, I listen to everybody. All genres. All genres, you know. I like to get influences from different different ways, you know what I mean? Um, I suppose I like to listen to a lot of reggae, uh, soul, jazz, you know, R&B, you know. So I would say people like um, Nina Simone, uh, Luther Van Dross, James Brown, um, Dennis Brown, <laughs> um, say, um, and some of the UK artists as well. Have you been surprised by the response you've received from UK music artists? Um, I have been surprised. Because you know, uh, that could be a tough crowd. <laughs> 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 Very tough crowd. Yeah. But you're always well received, you know. Yeah. I mean? Especially when you do a good job. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done a bad job yet, but you know, um, you, you're well, well received. You know, what I mean, they show their appreciation if they're happy. Yeah. You know, so far, I've been lucky enough to, you know, get on the right side of this. <laughs> <laughs> What have you got currently in the pipeline? Alright, currently in the pipeline, um, I, I do different things. I've sort of branched out a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So I now manage a band. Okay. Uh, I manage the Freedom Band. Okay. Um, the Freedom Band has been going since uh, 2014. Okay. And uh, we've, got, we've got some really good musicians in the band. Um, there's a guy I used to go to school with, his name is Zeb. Keyboarders. Um, there's, uh, there's Julie, who's one of the backing singers. 
We've got Cliff in place of keyboard as well. We've got Dave Brooks on bass. We've got James Shepherd on guitar. And we've got uh, uh, Barry, Barry Prince on drums. Um, I'm also in another band, a band called Reminis Band. Um, that band's been going for about 12 years now. Um, I do back and forth as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm back and forth this. Uh, in fact, next weekend I'm doing a show next weekend. Um, Where's your show? Alexandra Palace. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'll do some BV. Yeah, I'm in a group called University. And um, I'll be back in Janet Kay. Okay. <laughs> Vivian Jones. <laughs> Arima. Yeah. Uh, Rick Clark is a, is a, a song singer. Yeah. And Paul Etoja. Uh, this will happen next weekend, uh, the 6th, the 8th, sorry, 8th of March, oh, okay. 2020. <laughs> what do you think of the UK Lovers Rock scene now? Um, the Lovers Rock scene, it's not bad, it's not bad. There's a new, there's a few younger people coming through at the moment. Um, we've still got the older generation ones that started out, they're still there, but I, I love the younger ones that are coming through, you know, they're, they're sounding really good, they've got a mixture of the, the new sound, some of the old feel, do you know what I mean, so they've got, there's there's room for a lot of progression, progression do you know what I mean, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Thank you. Please feel free to make a shout out to your girl wishes. Okay, um, I'd like to say hi to all um, my fans um, who support me over 30 years of singing. Um, uh, to answer your question earlier, um, in the pipeline, uh, Patrick Johnson will be doing um, some solo work in the, in the future. Um, private collection will always be my first love. But after 30 years, <laughs> I feel like I need to push myself as a soloist with some new stuff coming out, you know. And um, I would like to say hello to all my new fans that <laughs> haven't heard Patrick Johnson's solo artists yet. Um, to all the old fans that follow Private Reflection, um, all the, the people, all the, everybody that has supported us along the way. Um, Showing the love, and um, I'd like to shout out to my kids, Aaron and Michelle, uh, mum and dad, my brothers and sisters, um, uh, the guys from Private Collection, uh, uh, Sly, we've got uh, Judgy, we've got Cliff, uh, we've got uh, Rob, my first night out, and um, I'd like to give a shout out to the rest of the world, you know, just you know, one love. You know, peace in your heart, and just live good with your brothers and sisters. You know, life is just too short. <laughs> so, live good. <laughs> How can the fire rip family keep in contact with you? Uh, the fire rip can keep in contact with me through our, from, I'd say, from our Freedom Band website. You know, we've got. What's uh, it called? Okay? It's the Freedom Band. Freedom Band. Freedom, the Freedom Band UK. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, or Freedom Band uh, UK at gmail.com. Yeah. Um, also, myself, Patrick Johnson, you know, listen out for the new stuff coming out in 2020. Um, Hopefully, we'll get a little insight into that. Yeah, um, I'm actually doing some work with Cliff. Cliff is the keyboardist and co writer in private, from private collection. Okay. And Cliff Charles, yeah, we've been doing. We've been working together since we were 18, yeah. uh, since I was 18. Okay. And you know, he's done some work in Freedom Band. And we are going to do an album this year together. And put out a few singles as well. So, yeah, there's a few things to say. I've worked as a lead singer in Black Slate, um, regular regulars. Um, I've worked with Aces. Um, I've done backing vocals in Germany for. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I've just worked with some really, really good artists you know, along the way. And, um, you know, this journey has been a wonderful journey. 
you know, of learning, discovering, and you know, get to know things about myself as, a, as an artist, as an you know, and um, other things I've discovered, you know, and how much I like to be in this industry. You know, so from being a vocalist, just on one microphone, I now own a PA system. Yeah, I'm a sound engineer as well. Um, I'm now with about 20 microphones. <laughs> I've got about um, about eight big, massive bass boxes and 12 top boxes and monitors and everything for a band. A band, a band. So hopefully, I'm in this industry for a long time. You know, even if the voice doesn't hold out, you've got other, other things that are going to keep me. So it's your, your fund, is it, is it hired out as a collective or do you individuals? Um, both. 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 I mean, you know, um, we, we can hire a whole band, you know, just we can just turn up and play if someone has their stuff there. You know, I can turn up and I can, I can supply a PA system. You know, I have to even have a stage as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I own the stage, you know, you know what I mean? So, just branching out, you know what I mean? I've got stage lights, just different things just to keep me in the game. You know, I, being on this side of the fence, I kind of know what the artist needs. You know what I mean? You know, and being in the band for so many years, I kind of know what bands need as well. So, I can supply that for them. I know when someone says turn me up, yeah. they're not just staying <laughs> They're deaf, do you know what yeah. I mean? If they want to hear them, so. Yeah, so, so remind me how you're friendly when they go for all these bands. Well, um, for all this band information, and um, if you want to contact myself, um, uh, can I give a telephone number? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my number is 07 949 My name is Patrick Johnson. Give me a call, we can talk discuss about anything that you find interesting in music and see where we can back the place. It has been an amazing honor interviewing you. Like interview with you. On behalf of the Friday station of Friday family, I'd like to thank you. Slow down your pace, it's too fast for me. Look how long I've been waiting for this dance And I'm not looking back No, I never want to stop Cause firing You're so hard for me Yeah, slow down